Hi everybody. Uh, the Enrollment Services team at Texarkana College thought that we would take some time to make a short video just to show you how you can register yourself for classes uh, if you don't have time to meet with an advisor or if you know exactly what you want to take and you just need to input the schedule. You don't have to wait for an advisor to do that if you don't have any holds. So we wanted to show you how you might do that. Um, and we'll go through this step by step. Uh, the first thing that you will need to do is click on the student tab. Um, from the student tab you can go over here to the advising window and within the advising window you'll see your course needs right here. On your course needs you'll click view all details. And a couple things about this screen uh, we do have some degree plans at TC that have what are called free electives which are um, classes in addition to your uh, degree requirements. You see here general studies needs 44 hours plus 16 hours of electives. Um, for the purpose of today uh, what we'll do and what I would suggest you do is to click on your major requirement which is usually the second one down and what you'll see here are all of your course needs and you can see your course requirements here and a course requirement is that's the class that you have to take. Your category requirements are um, categories where you have a choice of what you may want to take. So you have your creative arts core, behavioral science, you may have some choices here. Um, so we will click here on creative arts and this will bring up all of the courses that you can take that can satisfy your creative arts core. So, um, say you enjoy music, so we want to go with music appreciation, and you can click here on see available courses, and this will show you all of the music appreciation courses that are being offered for the spring term. And so a couple of things to look at here. Um, for a section number that starts with a one, that will be a course that's going to be taught in our spring one term. So you'll see here the begin date and the end date. This starts January 16th and ends on March the 8th. And if you see a course that has a section starting with a 2, you will know that that's a spring 2 course. So that will be in the second 8 weeks starting 318 and ending on 510. We do have some courses still that run a full 16 weeks. Um, so you can always tell based on the begin date and the end date. Um, and then if you have a course that has a web right here, you know that's going to be an online course. Whereas if it has hybrid, that's going to be face-to-face. -face. And you can see uh, when the course meets, Tuesday, Thursday, 11 to 1220. Where it meets, you know, Monday, Wednesday, 11 to 1220. And again, what room it meets on campus. Um, if you decide, you know what, I really want to do the web version of Music Appreciation, and then to add it, all you have to do is click this Add button, and then you can click on Add Courses. And then once it goes through, uh, you can usually scroll kind of down toward the bottom of the screen, and you can see that now we have Music Appreciation on the web uh, scheduled for the first eight weeks. Uh, one thing to note on the way our eight-week classes are set up, we only allow you to take up to nine hours, uh, which is usually three classes, in each eight week term. Um, three classes in eight weeks is a lot, so for most students we recommend sticking with um, two classes in each eight week term, uh, so don't feel obligated to pick the maximum number because it is a lot and we don't want you to get overwhelmed or anything. So, um, And then from there, if you decide, okay, I want to add some more classes, then you can, I wouldn't push the back button up here because that can uh, kind of reset everything. We don't want to do that. But you can come up here to where your major requirement is, where my mouse is there. Click on that again, and then maybe you want to take English 1301, Composition 1. We can see available courses there. And either of these options you can choose. Um, for today, we'll go ahead and add in English 1301. 1H1. We'll click Add Course and you can see here in this instance it says that this course is full um, and so you may run into a little bit of that uh, especially at this juncture. Uh, we've had registration open here since October so several classes may be filled up 
but you can just go back out and choose another course that may uh, work better for you. Um, if you're confused about maybe what classes you need to take um, and, and in what order, and you can go to catalog.texarkanacollege.edu and you can type in whatever your major is. So in this case, general studies. And you can click on the general studies degree plan and it'll show you um, kind of how we have it lined out on how you might want to stack these courses. It's not exact. You can mix and match to an extent, you know, some classes you have to have before you take another class like English 1301 you need to have before you take English 1302 so you need to be aware of that but otherwise you can kind of get an idea of what classes you may need to be taking at a given time so um, that's what we wanted to show you today if you have any questions certainly you can contact enrollment services and we'll be happy to help you but we thought this might be a good tool for you as you plan out your semesters thanks so much